Welcome to a video on the digital lifestyle.com. On this video, we're going to have a look at the Living NAS from Vidabox, which is their media server solution. And we're going to be having a look at it and how we can use it with devices like Sonos or June Player or different things. So, this first video, we're going to look at the actual server itself and what we can do with it. So, I'm going to look at some of the components and we'll go through some of the setup. And in the future videos, we'll have a look at how we get all this stuff connected together and how we can use it to power our whole home. So the first thing I wanted to look at is what you get with the uh, living NAS. So that's the box, which I'll, I'll take a close look at. You get a set of instructions, a nice guide, recovery disc, and a power supply. So let me first we'll have a look at the actual box itself. So here we've got the actual device itself. So you can see it's a it's actually quite heavy. It's very solidly built. It's got a lot of um, a solid feel to it. So at the front we've got space for a drive where we can do things like uh, DVD ripping, audio ripping, that kind of thing. And uh, we've got power and some indicator lights on the front. And then over here on the back we've got uh, DVI, VGA, HDMI and some USB ports, USB 3 ports, network and the audio outputs as well. So we've got a lot of uh, options on connectivity. It can kind of work without connecting up, so we think without connecting the display up and keyboard and mouse because we can have it as a server, but we'll have that on the initial setup and then we'll leave it probably headless while we do the rest of the, the setup. So, what I'm going to do is plug it in and uh, we'll walk through the setup. So, there the um, I've got the device plugged into my TV now, so I'll move the camera around and we'll actually have a look at the initial setup. Okay, so I've got it all plugged in now, and um, there was some initial fan noise when I first plugged it in, but that's uh, gone quiet now. So I've connected up a uh, keyboard and mouse. I'm actually using uh, a Vidibox remote keyboard that um, I've had for some time actually, and use it on my Media Center machine. Okay, so they've got the device connected up here, and uh, really that's all I need to do. It's all plugged in to the network and I can go to another device now and start consuming the content. Um, you, you don't really need to connect up for a keyboard and mouse and all that stuff but I've done that anyway and I'm actually going to try and just do a, um, a DVD rip just to start it off really and then we can then look at sort of how you can then access that from other devices. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to put a disc in here. So I'm going to put the music disc in here, Evangelis. CD. Okay, so that's going in there, and that should automatically rip that and store it on the server. So you see on here now, this is on the server. I'm mean, going through the uh, admin client. It's detected the name and the artist and the cover, and it's starting to copy that now. So it's just copying that data straight to the server, ready for access, so I can stream it onto other devices, Sonos, uh, XBMC, Media Center, whatever I want to do. So the first part of the video, I uh, set up my Vidibox uh, NAS device, and uh, so it's, I've got content on there, just stick a DVD in there, stick a Blu-ray in there, and it rips it, same with music as well, so it's really fast um, at doing that. I also had a good collection of music on um, a USB 3 drive, and as it supports USB 3, I just copied that music and dropped it into the folder, so it's nice and easy to copy that over. The Blu-ray ripping is, is pretty impressive, at least the disc in, and it just turns up there on the server. So, what I'm going to do now, I've got that on there, well, I'm going to connect it up to my source, I'm going to connect it up to uh, XBMC, probably on Raspberry Pi, some other stuff. But the first thing I'm going to try it is with this uh, June HD, so I'm going to unpack that now, and we'll uh, get that connected up and see how that works. So I've got the... Um, NAS tucked away down the bottom there. I've got the June connected now and I've added the NAS as a source. So I've got some content on there, so let's have a look. And now you can see I've got all the metadata. Um, and this center one, if you watched the previous video, the early part of this video where I um, put the disc in. So all I did with the um, with the Blu-ray is put the disc in the in the server, and then it popped out when it was done. Um, and then now I've got that, got the metadata, I've got all the information on there, and I can 
and I can play that. And that is really nice, the fact it's so integrated. So I just put the disc in. I don't know how long it took. It didn't take too long. Uh, I went off and did something else, but came back and it, and it was done. And then uh, you can then start watching it straight away. So it's a really easy way of getting your Blu-rays onto a server and then being able to consume them. Um, in the past, I've done similar things, and there's a lot of um, sort of hoops you've got to go through and steps to get all this working but as you see in this video it's really straightforward put the server in put the disc in uh, the disc popped out and I've connected this uh, June HD up and on the June HD all I did was add the my movies drive and it started working so very impressive and very efficient way of, of getting your collection on there and um, all through a really nice little neat player one really nice thing on this is when you go to a movie and you go to play it, you can do the play, which is what we saw before, you go to the menus, or you can go play light, choose the track, and then it's going to jump straight to the movie rather than going through all the menus, the thank you for you loading a Blu ray, thank you for copying this disc, all that rubbish that comes on that takes 15 minutes to get it started. You can skip all that and go straight to the movie start, and I think it's a really good idea and a really nice feature and saves so much time and that's really a good thing about having it stored on the server, you can just get playing with it straight away. So as you can see from this from this video, this part of the video, I can just put the disc in, uh, it goes off and does its thing, pops the disc when it's done and then it's available through that really nice interface. So the video box, uh, NAS box, is uh, headless and so I just leave that on the network somewhere and then you can use these various clients. So I'll probably look at different clients as well. But that's this first part. We're using the June, uh, really nice setup, very straightforward set to set up, good quality kit so everything uh, works together well and is well made. So uh, thanks for watching this video. So the next part of it we'll look at some other clients.